What's going on everybody? Welcome to Joe's Gaming Electronics YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work on your Xbox One S. We're going to replace the hard drive in here. So, first things first. We're going to flip this guy on, his fr on the front. You're going to want one of these pry tools. We're going to start working at this left corner here. You don't have to be too hard, aggressive, but Unfortunately, the Xbox One S is the hardest one to pry this thing off. So I put one right here, and then I'm gonna put one on the side here. I'm gonna pop it out. And we're just gonna work all the way across here. All right, now we're gonna put it on its back. Start working at the front here. You know, it's not too much pressure, but you want to get enough to where it'll pop off. These are the clips that we're taking it off inside. Back on its side. Okay, so now we're here. This guy on the back, where the security sticker is, is the hardest one. So you're gonna to want to get a flathead. I, I got a razor to get this sticker up. But. Get this sticker off. Okay, boom. Now that we got the sticker off, we're gonna take our both our pry tools. We're gonna put one of them, kind of try to get it underneath this tab. Sometimes you can't. All right, this one is really on there, so we're not going to do that. Basically, we just don't want to break this plastic piece here. If you do, it's not the end of the world, but it's just a little annoying. So, maybe put this guy right here, set it in there. And you want to push down on this white piece as best as you can. This is literally the hardest part of the repair, <laughs> is getting this guy off without breaking it. Just be really careful to not break. Like I said, it's not the end of the world if you do break this little top piece. It's just not the most attractive thing on the planet when it's broken. I'm not sure why Microsoft <coughs> decided to make this so difficult. Okay, boom. So, see there, I got it kind of, I kind of worked it up and I got underneath here. Now the clip is off so we can get this last piece off. <coughs> I'll lay it flat. Make sure all the clips on the edges are clipped off, boom, literally the hardest part of the repair right there, and the most annoying. All right, now you're going to be looking at this, you're going to need a T8 or T9 screwdriver, I got a T9, I prefer it because it fits a little better, and we're just going to unscrew all of these green screws, they're the body screws, they go all the way through. You don't need an electric screwdriver, but it makes it 100 times easier. All right, set those aside. Don't lose those. We got, I got this blue mat here can't really see it, it's off camera. But all these spots for screws, we got them on our website, Joe's GE. Most of these tools we have on our website if you need them. Okay, so we're gonna take it, flip it upside down, and you're gonna kinda grab here on these edges. 
and it should just come right off. Set that to the side, maybe clean this stuff off. It's real gross. Okay, now this is free. We can just take that off. And here is our hard drive. It's on this little caddy thing. You'll be like, huh, how come you can't get it out? You've got screws here on the back side. So we're gonna need to take this one out, this one out, and this one out. And I believe that's all the ones we need. Put those aside. Now when you flip it over, it's gonna be loose. So I kind of try to grab it underneath so it doesn't fly everywhere. This guy is dusty. If you ever open up your Xbox, just get a can of air and a microfiber and just clean this stuff off. I promise it actually will help performance quite a bit. Okay, so now the hard drive is free. It's in its caddy. But it's free, it's super dusty. Look at all this. So you're gonna take it out. You're gonna fold it like this, face down. And these are the two cables you're gonna wanna remove. Don't pull too hard. You don't wanna accidentally pull the cables out of the socket, but nice and easy. Same with this guy, boom. Now, <clears throat> you can set this to the side for now. Look at all this dust, sheesh. Okay, so now you got your hard drive here. You're gonna have your spare to the side. It's gonna be already in formatted. We got a video on formatting your Xbox drives. Um, so go ahead and check that out if you need help with that. But now we need to put the new hard drive onto the caddy. So we're gonna remove these four screws. This one's already missing for some reason, but these four screws in the corner. It's the same, same bit, T8, T8, T9. I can't get over how dusty this thing is. Cool, now you can remove it from the caddy. You're gonna take this cable, pull it off. This is your old hard drive, you can keep it if you want. If it's broken, throw it away, do whatever you want with it. Cool, now we'll take our new hard drive, definitely not the same one I just pulled out, but you'll take your new hard drive. You're gonna plug in the cable like this. So you're gonna have the exposed part underneath and these pins here on the same side. Plug it in, take your caddy, and you're gonna line up these holes with these holes right here. So you're gonna put it like this, put those screws back in, Cool, I'm not sure why I'm missing a fourth screw, but you'll have a fourth one here. Cool, now you got your new hard drive, ready to rock. You've cleaned, you've cleaned this off, take a can of air, blow it out, maybe wipe down these fan blades, blow out the heat sink underneath. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, so now you'll just do everything you did, but in reverse. So you leave this like this, face down, plug in, that guy, plug in this guy. And then you'll fold it like this. And this guy right here rests on top of the power supply right here. And these have pins so they'll line up on the board. You should shake it and there should be minimal movement. There'll be a little bit, but minimal. Cool, now you can take this top plate right here Spin this around, make sure to clean it. But you're gonna line up this hole and this like little dip right here. Just pull it 
push down, make sure everything fits nice, flip it over, and you're gonna get <coughs> these smaller screws that you remove from the hard drive caddy. You're gonna throw them in here. Little tip, see how this says F4? You can't see it because the glare, I don't think, but this says F3, and then this says C3 right here. The F screws are these big green ones. So the F screws are, where, are what go in these deep holes because it holds the whole console together. So the C ones are these little tinier silver screws. Don't tighten them too fast because you'll you might strip it, but they're nice and tight. Put this one here, like I said, nice and kind of kind of pulsing this, so I don't accidentally strip the plastic on the caddy. Of course, if you're hand tightening it, you just tighten it normally. Cool. So now you got your the actual console reassembled. We'll grab the top cover, this guy right here, clean it out, it's disgusting. Okay, so you're gonna face this, this part's gonna be facing away from you, like this. <clears throat> You'll flip this like so. You're gonna just wanna wanna kinda put this front piece in first. Make sure that it's fitting. You just want to make sure that you push all the sides in. See how this right here isn't fully in? You can peel it, push it down like that. Same thing on this side if it's not, if it's kind of not fully in, it's like this with it popped up. Just take this, peel back, push down, boom. Now that that guy's nice and snug on there, we're going to put the body screws in. Big green ones. That's not a scroll. You'll know which ones are the right ones when they stick about eh, that far up above the metal house housing. Same thing with these. Don't tighten them super tight at the beginning. Now that those are all there, you will take this, the most annoying piece of the console, the bottom housing. You wanna line up this, I can't, can't tell if you can see that, this guy right here, this little clip, with this right here, this button. Generally, you'd put it on from the front first, so it looks kinda like this. You check the back, and then you'd push and you just clip it all in like this. And it's clipping. I'm not gonna do it all the way because I'm gonna make more videos and I hate removing this guy. But you'd clip it all down, all the way around. And then you would have a brand new hard drive in your Xbox One S. Obviously it'd be a lot more clean than this. Get all the dust out of your console. You don't want any of that stuff in there. Um, if you've got any questions on what to do after you put a new hard drive in, you, uh, we have a video on that on our channel uh, for the offline update is how you actually get this guy going. So you'll have the offline update ready to go. As well as if you have any questions about the formatting for the hard drive before you put it in, we have a video on that. It'll be linked down below. If you've got any questions about the Xbox One S, please feel free to ask in the comments or any other thing that we work on, feel free to ask. Also, if you do not feel comfortable working on your own console, we do have a service for repairing consoles, Xbox One S's, Xbox One X, and PS4 Pros. We're working on getting some more, um, but go to our website, joesge.com, and fill out a service request. You'll ship your console in, we'll <coughs> diagnose it for you, and we'll get it all fixed up and purdy.
Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free again to ask questions down in the comments. It's been AJ, your favorite tech ninja. Peace out.